Calibration of air blast sprayers for vineyards. Part 1. Selecting and changing nozzles. This is part 1 of a two-part video series. Part 2 is entitled Measuring Liquid Flow. Both are available in metric. Warning. If there is a possibility of contact with pesticides, proper personal protective clothing and equipment should be worn. Nozzle selection from the catalogue. We wish to apply 50 gallons per acre. We have an air blast sprayer with five nozzles each side. A forward speed is three and a half mile an hour and our rows are nine feet apart. Gallons per minute is equal to gallons per acre times miles per hour times row width in feet divided by 495. 50 gallons per acre times 3.5 mile an hour times 9 divided by 495 equals 3.18. 3.18 divided by 2 is 1.59 gallons per minute per side. Divide by 5 equals 0 0.318 gallons per minute per nozzle. Using a hollow cone nozzle table, read along the pressure row at the top of the table. Read down the column for 100 psi until you read 0.32 gallons per minute. Then look across to see which disc and swirl plate you require. Here's the chart. Look down the column for 100 psi. Go all the way down the column till you see 0.32. This is shown in the red box. Then look across to the left and you see you need a D6 nozzle tip, a DC23 swirl plate. This will give us 0 0.32 of a gallon per minute per nozzle. A better alternative to consider is the use of a one piece hollow cone nozzle tip. These one piece tips are easier to fit are much easier to remove and for changing tips. To continue with the worked example we are looking for a flow rate of 0 0.32 gallons per minute. Read along the pressure row at the top of the table till you see 100 psi. Here you'll see the nozzle chart. At 100 psi look down the column until you see 0 0.310 gallons per minute. This is shown in the red box. Then move your finger to the left and you will see an ATR orange nozzle tip. This will give us 0 0.310 gallons per minute at 100 psi. Changing sprayer nozzles. Undo the sprayer nozzle tip with a wrench. Remove the two piece nozzle tip, the nozzle and the core, plus the filter. Here you see the three components the brass nut, the tip, and the filter. Note this whirl plate is badly damaged and will give very erratic spraying. Replace damaged tips or damaged swirl plates. Here you see the one piece hollow cone nozzle. So it replaces the two part ceramic tip you see alongside it. Insert the one piece hollow cone tip into the brass cap and tighten down onto the manifold using a wrench. One piece color coded plastic bodies with ceramic tip nozzles offer the following advantages. They're easy to remove and replace, they're more rugged and resistant to over tightening damage and they're easy to identify that all the nozzles are the same. Continue with part two, 
the video calibration of air blast sprayers for vineyards measuring liquid flow. The following websites will give you more information on nozzle calibration, pumps, filters, many items to do with spraying. This video was produced by Andrew Landers and William Lazalier at Cornell University in upstate New York.